And now we have our Playground Achievement Awards for children who've behaved well and helped each other in the playground. At Herbert Morrison and in Lambeth, a one-form primary with 200 children, head teacher Eileen Ross is handing out certificates for good behaviour well at the weekly awards well assembly. But today, she has a visitor. Nikki Rosewell well runs a middle school in Harrow. And like Eileen, believes improving pupils' behaviour is the key to successful okay. learning. Well done. But there, the similarity ends. Tanwa. Well done. Thank you. All the teachers at Eileen's school use the same assertive discipline behaviour system. I don't believe this for one moment. Who's Noddy? <laughs> Two years. Do you? Yes, it's a class name. No, it's a pet name, yeah. Oh, right. That's the second time I've said that word today. Pet. No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Our behaviour management system is based on reward and sanction. And there's a happy side to the board and a sad side. Mm. And the children get their names put up as an initial warning. And then there's the one ticks, two ticks and three ticks. And they lose several parts of their playtime or lunchtime. After the third tick on the sad side, they get sent to a partner class with a timeout sheet to mm. think about their behaviour and then they're accepted back with, in, in, in their classroom. If um, they break the rules again and they get four ticks, then they get sent to me and I have a, a letter which I write home and ask the parents to have a word about the children's mm. behaviour so that you know, the standards can be maintained and children can learn. How much of your time gets used in, in I mean, or for, for, for the happy side, which is, 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 is great, or for the sad side when the children are there? How much time? It's not a lot of time because like, the teachers are in charge of the children's behaviour within the mm. classroom. They have to manage that behaviour. And I make sure that the behaviour management systems are applied consistently throughout the mm. school. Mm. And that includes with the support staff. The teachers manage it and they manage it very well. Uh, if I got sent all the children all the time that weren't behaving mm. properly, it undermines them and then it means that, that I'm not that final solution mm. and yeah. it means that yeah. I can't do yeah. my work. Yeah. So I have put the onus on the teachers to, to manage yeah. their behaviour yeah. and the children as well. Then mm. They have to manage mm. their own behaviour. And I do think that you, you, you have to teach children to behave. Yeah. No, no. I'm going to keep doing this. Oh, how, how, how often? No. Have you said <laughs> who's there? Your ticks. Three ticks. Do you get a certificate? Four ticks. Four ticks. Four ticks. Four ticks. Four ticks. Four ticks. And we have to. Once you get three ticks, um, you have to try your hardest to get four. But if you get four ticks from the centre, you get sent to Mrs. Ross. Hello, rabbit. Got some visitors to see you. Uh, Hello. Carry on, that's normal. Abu, what's the matter with Abu? He's having a um, really upset at the moment. Mm. So I'm just going to have him stand, stand on me for a while, just, just as he calms down. Annie, could you wait just a moment, please? It's an incident packed day today. <laughs> the board wants to story. The board will tell a story. Let me have a look. Mm. Lovely, because we've had so many children who have worked so hard today. Really yeah. Though the teachers use the same system consistently, for year five, the rules are about to get even tighter. There's a core of 15 children that go up to the three, get sent out and then stop bringing it down a level so there's less time and then they have to see me to try and help them to have more control. But what I'm going to do it as a, as a whole class, not just for individual children. Mm. Abu's calm now. Can you be calm along with him? Yeah. OK, good girl. Yeah. Um, those people who just come in with their scripts, can you not disturb children who are working? Because they're working extremely hard. 
some of the children have targets to um, help them with their, with their behaviour. They mark it in themselves. The children mark it mm -hmm. themselves? Mm -hmm. They assess Does, themselves. Right, yeah. yeah. And the teachers always, always check it. I was going to say, they assess some, themselves. Mm. And they know whether they've done well or... or mm. Mm. They know the rules and, and they know when they're broken. They actually have to decide for themselves whether they've gone outside those or not. They know when they've done things that are outside of what they should be doing. I still have some things, some issues that, that I'd like to explore further, or, or, and maybe that will happen on um, the return visit. I, I can see how behaviour is managed and I know I can see what a strong policy it is and how consistently it is used across the school. Um, it, it, it's still for me the issue is getting at that layer underneath. Good morning everyone. Can the I following remember? week Nikki returns the invitation so Eileen can see how Grange remember, Middle School deals it? with that layer underneath. We're going to try something this morning and I want you to watch what happens this morning and to think about these things on the OK Corral. So we're going to look about how people might feel about themselves and how people might feel about other people. At Nikki's school, the emphasis is on children's emotional literacy. All pupils are taught to analyse their own behaviour through the theory of transactional analysis in the hope that they'll eventually exercise greater self-control. Laura was able to play, but um, he wasn't. Pupils right. are discussing a role-play about bullying. Just think for the moment how we might actually link what was happening with which ego states they were using at that point. And there might be something about the body language that would help us tell. What might you have seen with his body language? OK. Yep, Natasha. Um, feeling that he was the victim. Right, he could have felt that he was a victim. Well done. I wonder if you noticed anything he did with his hands when he said who could actually play. There was something he did. Can anybody tell me what he did with his hands? Colvin. He pointed. Right, he pointed, didn't he? He pointed. That should give you a big clue as to which ego state he was using at that point. At that point, OK, Val? Um, bossy parent. Yeah, bossy parent. Would you agree with that, Jamie? Yeah, very much bossy parent. Right. Now, what can I do now? <coughs> what can I do now? Any ideas as to what you could do now? Oh, Rick's in the middle of teaching there. Transactional analysis, together with a system of rewards and sanctions known as the Golden Rules, runs throughout the school. But together with that, each teacher is allowed to set their own classroom rules. This is interesting because I wanted to find out how you recorded um, losing the golden pie. Obviously, there's different degrees of um, staff's ability to manage children's behaviour. Would this be a good this, this example of practice that you expect throughout the school? Yes. Yes. So we've got to start against golden time. Um, happy and sad sign. Yeah, and he, but Rick wouldn't really operate that within his, within his own class. Yeah, right. So that's not something that will go across the school. You know, I'm saying that... Um, they, they're allowed to choose. Yes, yeah. they can. They can use something. Well done. Okay. Within each class, there may be different systems in terms of star tickets, yes. or someone else uses two tickets, someone else will use um, merit points. Maybe that terminology, mm. but it's still the same in terms of the, yeah. the merits. That so they just get used to something slightly different each year that the class teaches yes. validity. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think you've got to have really clear systems to manage a lot of staff mm, and a lot, a of, lot of children. children. Yes. And I found that when I've been in a, in a larger school before, leaving quite a lot of things to people's creativity and their own creative flair 
sometimes conflicts with what I wanted as a, as a whole school. It's about looking at your interactions with the children when they're, you know, just during your everyday contact. That's right. Yeah. I just think that perhaps if I was a new member of staff, I'd probably like less choice. Do you think so? I think so. Yeah. And then you might get that consistency of approach going through. Yeah. Less choice with the team points, table points, mm. stars. There's so many options. Mm. I don't think I'd be quite clear of which one I could use. If Adnan's name was, as we said, Adnan, the mini me. Sharon, can you manage a mini me? I don't think he's big enough. How do we actually work out the leading value now? What's the other sort of average we can take from this information? <laughs> So I noticed in that year seven, there's a, um, a young man that kept calling out. Mm. And if that happened in, in, in my school, mm. um, because they were calling out and disrupting the teaching, they would have had a warning name on. Right. If they'd carried calling out, they would have had a tick. Mm. So mm. that they weren't disrupting. So that certain behaviours seem to be ignored because they're not included in those, in those rules. Our year sevens would not respond to the system of the, the happy or the sad face. No, but I, um, if we'd got golden time, then if mm. they'd been talking while the teacher was talking or the other class members were mm. talking, then mm. I would have knocked some, a minute of golden time off. And our Year 7s are a particularly challenging year group. So what, I mean, what we've had to do is, is to work to actually get them to, to focus and to engage with learning. Mm. And inevitably there has to be well have I a judgment there is have I actually got them engaging in the learning so the TA is a philosophy and a way of working it's not it's actually a, of, it's a, a, a tool for behavior it's it, it's well it is it's, isn't it and, and, I mean it's a way of avoiding that immediate confrontation. Mm. It's about the staff and the children yes. using that it comes way before ever there needs to be the resolution of, yes. of a situation. And we do use it when we need to resolve the conflict, when it's mm. reached that point, but mm. it's actually about how you interact way before, before that yeah. ever happens. Yeah. And so, hopefully, um, you know, 99 times out of 100, mm. I might be being over-optimistic with that, yes. but you actually prevent a situation occurring. Yeah. I wouldn't use it in my school because it seems to be too complicated for all staff, teaching assistants, uh, teachers, uh, and for the children to really understand where it's coming from. I think it may just be a, a little bit difficult to, to implement. But in, uh, each head teacher will select a behaviour management system and different systems of raising self-esteem and um, um, modifying behaviour to suit their needs. So I wouldn't say that I wouldn't use it ever, but I'd certainly say I wouldn't use it in the school that I'm in at the moment.